Sales of electric cars are growing by the day, but there's still one technology that's lurking in the background as an alternative for what could power our cars in the future, hydrogen fuel cells. Now, this is not a new discussion. Hydrogen's been talked about as an alternative to petrol and diesel for well over a decade now. But BMW thinks even though electric cars are getting better and better, traveling further and charging faster, there is still a place for this technology for people who drive long distances, do a lot of towing, or can't charge electric cars at home. Is it all marketing hype? Has the ship sailed on hydrogen fuel cell cars? Well, we're here at the old hole improving ground in Victoria that drive this, the iX5. It's a hydrogen fuel cell powered version of the X5 SUV that's so popular with Australian buyers. Is it any good? Let's find out. The BMW iX5 is a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle, or FCEV for short. Think of it as an electric car, but instead of plugging it into a power point to replenish its driving range, you fill it with pressurized hydrogen gas at a specialized refueling station. The hydrogen gas is turned into electricity through a chemical reaction in what's known as a fuel cell stack, which sits under the bonnet. What all that means is you get the driving experience and the silent running of an electric vehicle with a long driving range and three to four minute refuels of a petrol or diesel car. The only emission is water vapor, which BMW says is cleaner than even the cleanest tap or bottled water. BMW believes hydrogen fuel cell and battery electric cars can coexist, with normal electric cars to favor small vehicles and urban transport, and hydrogen fuel cells better suited to larger cars, utes, and big trucks, as well as long distance drivers, those who tow, and drivers who can't recharge an electric car at home overnight. The iX5 hydrogen isn't for sale to the public, but BMW is operating a fleet of these vehicles around the world to test the suitability of hydrogen fuel cell technology for its showrooms. Toyota and Hyundai already offer hydrogen fuel cell cars in Australia to select business fleets. BMW says if the iX5 trial is successful, it could unveil its first production hydrogen vehicle towards the end of the decade, ahead of a wider rollout in the 2030s. It won't look like this prototype though, which is essentially a petrol or diesel X5 with a fuel tank and engine removed and the hydrogen components added. Inside the iX5, and to be honest, this is going to be quite a short segment because there's not a whole lot in here that's actually that different from a petrol or diesel X5. You do have dual displays for instruments and infotainment. That is the old design. It's not the new facelift uh, widescreen curved dash you get in the latest models you can buy in showrooms today. But otherwise, you've got some hydrogen fuel cell badging on the dashboard, some blue highlights around the place. But other than that, it just feels like a normal X5 inside. That is by no means a bad thing. This is a really, really nice cabin for the luxury large SUV class. BMW says there's no compromise on space as far as the hydrogen parts are concerned. Some of the hydrogen tanks run along the center console here. Backseat space is pretty comparable to the petrol and diesel model. And yeah, this is a really nice place to be. Though to be honest, this interior is probably not the point of this prototype. It's how it drives. So let's go do that. But first, let me tell you about what is powering this iX5 prototype. Under the bonnet is a hydrogen fuel cell stack sourced from the Toyota Mirai sedan through a partnership between BMW and Toyota on hydrogen vehicles dating back to 2013. The fuel cells can produce up to 125 kilowatts, fed by six kilograms of hydrogen stored in two tanks, one in the space normally occupied by the fuel tank in a petrol or diesel X5, and the other under the front center console between the driver and the front passenger. They are aided by a small battery pack which can supply a 170 kilowatt power boost on demand, all driving a 295 kilowatt electric motor on the rear wheels, taken from a BMW iX electric SUV. The result is 504 kilometers of claimed driving range in European WLTP lab testing and a hot hatch like 0 to 100 kilometer an hour acceleration time of less than six seconds. It can be refueled in three to four minutes at a small but growing network of hydrogen refueling stations, which there'll be 600 in Europe by 2030, at least one in every major city and one every 200 kilometers on the highway. All right, behind the wheel of the BMW iX5 Hydrogen. Now, to be honest, it is a hydrogen fuel cell car, but he blindfolded me, put me in the passenger seat. I'd probably just say it's an electric car. It just feels like an electric vehicle, but one you don't need to plug in and you can refill in three to four minutes at a hydrogen station. Close to 300 kilowatts means, put my foot down. It's definitely not a slow car by any means. You've got that propulsion sound you can hear there. Um, sort of makes a bit of a spaceship style whir quite nice and definitely breaks away from the silence you get when you put it in comfort mode and it just makes you know a quiet whir from the drivetrain a bit of fake noise as well through the speakers it's all very pleasant all the things we expect of electric cars you know instant acceleration when you put your foot down super quiet super smooth no gears or anything else to worry about just a really nice car to drive now as you can see this car 
is left-hand drive. As I said before, this is just a prototype, and BMW hasn't decided if it wants to put it into production. But, and, but to be honest, we need to see more hydrogen filling stations around the place so this kind of car can come into reality. It's a really good concept, and it brings all the best of electric vehicles and all the best things about petrol and diesel vehicles. In terms of how the rest of it drives, it just feels like a normal BMW X5. Obviously, it is a bit heavier, closer to two and a half tonnes, so you can feel its weight in corners. The steering is quite precise, a little bit artificial in its feel at times, but still pretty precise. It does get quite a bit heavier when you put it into sport mode, though obviously that's something that you can choose as a driver. The brakes do feel pretty good, reasonably consistent, though obviously, as we come to expect from electric cars, not quite as precise and well judged as a petrol vehicle. And the ride is really nice. This car has air suspension, so it irons out little bumps in the road, almost like they're not there. At high speeds, it flows with the surface and feels really progressive. Really, there's not a whole lot to complain about. It's just what an electric BMW X5 would feel like if the iX didn't exist. It's just all the benefits of an EV, smooth performance, excellent acceleration, with everything you'd come to expect from a petrol vehicle. Quick top-ups and that convenience of being able to go wherever you want and not having to worry about pulling over half an hour to recharge the battery. And really hope governments and private industry start to get together and really build more hydrogen filling stations because cars like this have a place in Australia. And to be honest, Australia might be the perfect place for this kind of vehicle. Long distances, we love our towing, we love driving to the country on road trips, might be the perfect car for our conditions. All right, set to the verdict. So there you have it, the BMW iX5 hydrogen prototype. Now there's a long way to go with this technology as far as getting it into Australian showrooms goes, but there is a lot of promise here. It combines all the best of electric cars, silent running, great acceleration, with everything we love about petrol cars, long range and quick refueling. Really hope BMW sticks to this technology and keeps going alongside its range of electric cars, because this could be perfect for Australian conditions. If you enjoyed this video, please click like to stay update all of our latest videos, hit subscribe and that little notification bell. Do you think hydrogen cars have a future in Australia? Is this technology a dead end or really worth considering? Let us know in the comments below and of course head to drive.com.au for the link in the description to read the full written review.